Rob when he played him? Um, no, he played Inkling, and he's sticking to Inkling. I know he he said, screw Rob. Rob sucks. Rob doesn't suck at this game. No, he definitely does not. Uh, so he's thinking about it. But right now, we're going to see his Inkling, and we're going to see how Light handles Inkling. I've never seen him play this character. Against this character, should I say. I mean, it's decent, though, because uh, Inkling has better movement speed. Yes, and, and uh, his edge guarding is absolutely definitely. insane. Or should I say her edge guarding? Like the, the challenge, no matter what character you use, is escaping like uh, Light's advantage to you. It's yeah. Always, it's always ridiculous. You can see it right now, but he's going to have an opportunity. But that shield poke. Ooh, good parry. Yeah, really, really good parry. We're going to see him at the ledge. Double Another parry. parry. Sage needs to watch out. This is the second time in a row. Then again, it's just the beginning of the match. All right. I'd like to see him get some ink on Light, by the OL. Well, sometimes you just can't hit him. True, true, definitely. <laughs> like... We, uh, Light's advantage state, or should I say ledge game in general, is absolutely insane. You get him, like, he gets you on ledge, and you just hope your stock doesn't disappear. <laughs> right now, Sage puts Light in the same exact situation, trying to roll her him, barely missing. So he had him trapped at the ledge, but uh, he wasn't prepared for the jump. He thought he'd yeah. stay grounded, but... Fox, a primarily grounded character, you know, dash attack, up tilt, down tilt, uh, forward tilt is a lot better. All of his tilts, in general, are a lot better, including, you know, good old dash attack. <laughs> Um, that's the only move that actually got nerfed at his grounded kit. Maybe up tilt a little bit. Back air. Nerfed, but still a really good yeah, move. Especially when it is. All right, right now, Sage kind of stuck in shield right now. He uh, is looking a little lost. He's playing too scared. I feel like he's afraid to uh, not even press buttons, but put like moves out. All right, right now, we're going to see we a go. stock. Yep, that's an up smash. Roller. I don't know what option that was, but he had invincibility. Yeah, right? Why not? Just do it. Get some damage. Oh, that's that was it. a really bad. Ah. That's it. So I saw him do back air, and he wanted the turnaround grab. He was going for turnaround grab, and it costed him stock because he messed up. Uh, we saw Light there doing bare fake footstool because that is not true anymore. You can, um, you can jump out of it? Yeah. Oh, word. Okay. Unless um, he chases you, because in this game, you can't footstool out of hit stun. Like, so if he gets you with that footstool, mm -hmm. you just got hard red, like like insanely red, because he could die there. That's insane. Um, but right now we're, we are seeing the Rob. Rob, insane in this game. Definitely. I'm really upset he found that out. <laughs> like, <laughs> his neutral tools in general, especially Nair, they're just they're just. Oh safe. yeah, his like, Nair is so insane. Uh, his down tilt, his up tilt, his down, like every a lot about this character has completely changed and we can't forget that side beat. That Spin side beat, yeah, right? Man, that thing kills ridiculously early and on a stage like Town, we're going to see even earlier stocks. Oh, boy can't be chopping off. Uh, see you later. All right, thank you very much. All right, right now, we're going to see why this... Even with an amazing, uh, amazing buffs that this character has received, we can still see the difficulties that Box gives him. In Smash 4, this was a really hard matchup. And we're seeing shades of it now. But we're seeing Sage still fighting. Sage getting the first stock. This is a really good, strong, strong pick for him. Ah, let's so say that back here is going to steal up the stock. Ooh, I don't know if that was on purpose, but he's gonna not die for it? Alright, alright. Alright, Light racking up the up airs. Alright. Right now, Light has had the complete advantage. This entire stock, only 8%. The Sage... <laughs> Give that quick haymaker real quick. Tell him to get out of there. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Musical chairs has finally ended for me as I cannot <laughs> can no longer leave to go play bracket matches. But back on this one, though, Light, yet again, looking like he has a complete rebound on yeah. the way Sage is playing. But Sage putting a stock on the board. Usually I'm used to seeing this not too good yeah, in this, history. This matchup in the past game was absolutely horrible and it still kind of is you can see how light handles it really well yeah, difference um, in this one but Rob can actually kill you very well going yes. for side piece off the stage and uh, you know it, with the linear approach that Fox has to go for he has a couple of toolkits that make light get a little bit stressful now because of it 
And so far, Light is, I mean, Sage, I apologize, is doing really well on this stock. And he just can't, oh my, Nair killing off the top. 61%, yeah. not too bad for Sage. Light was actually giggling at that one too, like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and Town and City being an unusual thing now where we have to constantly stay at a high bl uh, blast zone, uh, helping to keep people alive. We're not used to that. Does it go for the tech option read for a potential up smash? Ooh, that was an amazing call out up there, almost taking it. But Town, Town's a lot bigger. Yeah, you know, it's very, very stressful to begin with, trying to land against Fox and White, but with not having too many great options to get down to the ground, this Nair is actually putting in some decent work for Rob here. But right now, he could get something started. Is he is dead? That? Oh! No, pull the trigger too early. <laughs> the, the down smash is on Q. Uh, oh, this is really close. Oh, this less situation. You do not want this if you're playing against Light right now. Mm -hmm. just, uh, the backdoor not going to do it. Actually, Bob's going to potentially get a kill there. I'm surprised he didn't oh, to go for it. But does it matter? Goes for the same special, getting the forward smash after the uh, the gyro. Not many people go for that. He has been going for that for the past like five years. Brand new game, still works. And putting himself on the board. That was a really good ledge situation. Uh, 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 Sage knows that light. I mean, well, at least Fox in the last game could side be through top. Mm -hmm. uh, Fox privilege at its finest. And yeah. I don't know if he could in this game, but regardless if he can or cannot, Sage thinks he can. So, and Light, maybe he does. Light went for the side B, and Sage was one step ahead to get that forward smash. Sure. So, now, because of the All fact right. that that didn't end out in 2-0, there's another match, you have to step off because you have to go play a match against Kairos. Yep. So, I will be here with you guys for the remainder of the night yet again because I am never allowed to move. All right, so going into game three here, we got Light versus Sage. Actually, very excited to see that Sage took that game here. And Light opting to go to Kalos. Light is a very big fan of this stage. Just opting to run in and go for the up throw instead of down throw. They're not trying to have any mashes come in to interrupt the combo. Alright, so far here we're seeing a much different change of pace. Catching with the anti air on the up air. Not going to do it yet. I'm so used to seeing that kill early, but in this game, a little bit, little bit more reasonable. Light finally catching his opportunity to getting three up airs, even in this backup. Very scary thing about this match, even with a decent lead that you have there, it's so hard to deal with getting back on the ground versus Fox. But Sage is doing a good job, keeping his composure. That fair drag down does not work, but he's going to go for the Firefox at the ledge, not going to get him off the side. But the big body like that too. You can't see him go for a potential uh, footstool, but the up smash is going to take it yet again. Light has made so much money off of that, and he's going to continue to try and make bank moving into this. Now, we saw in the last game, didn't really matter that he lost a bit of this lead here. The parry at the ledge show, good call out. And Sage opted to uh, take an escape to go back off the stage. I don't think he meant to do that, uh, the air dodge there. Well, making it back, no SDs. Now, we never want to see that, especially in a good match like this so far. Down throw into the up air. It's not going to kill just yet, but he is reaching for sets where he can start going for down throw and down smash pretty soon. Good fade away with that back air, forcing Light to try and go after him initially. The up air is not going to take it. Good mash coming in from Light. Right, Light opting to use the gyro himself to try and force a ledge situation to potentially get a punish, but doesn't get it. And because of the delay on that back air, could it go for a down air on the up B? Just running with the side B, they're not going to get punished for it as well. This is starting to really rack up big damage on Light Park. Gets in there into the up smash. Now, Sage looking at last stock. However, in the last game, again, all he needs, for one, just get rid of stock. Up throw potentially could kill, uh, but can't really land it right now. Just throwing out as many hitboxes as he can to try to stop this, but these up tilts just continuing to barrage him. Now the up air's chasing after him. The back air not going to take it. He's forced it to ledge, but the down air is going to take it. Now Sage putting himself on the board. Sage going for these nares. It's a little bit risky, considering it's pretty hard yet again to want to live. To going for a hard read up smash, not going to hit him. What up? It's a wild Don. It's a, wi a wild Don wild fan Don has fan. appeared. Yeah, I got you. I was going for it. Uh, I saw game two. Game two was a really good comeback from Sage. Yeah. Well, not even so much like a comeback. He wasn't that far behind, but that up smash was right on point. That's going to take the game. That's the up smash, bro. Buff slash nerf. <laughs> the, the more range on the up smash, less kill potential. Yeah. But you give Light any more room with the up smash, like that's that's just a personal buff to him in general. He gets damage in so fast, like it doesn't matter if they really mm -hmm. nerf it. 
Like, but... if you can rack on the damage you get to kill percent off of, like, two strings just from constantly anti-earing Rob trying to get down to the ground, lasers. does it really matter that it's a little bit worse? Lasers, dude. Well, we down. say lasers, but really light only goes for like single shot lasers at the end of a string to like maximize damage. Yeah, really like, if you know, like yeah, camping. Yeah, like off stage. If you know something's not going to hit, he just goes for lasers. Mm -hmm. I see him do it all the time. Like it, he'll get like a nice string. It, it works too because a lot of times people look at that uh, at on paper like, all right, this is a laser off stage. Like, that's nothing, right? Mm -hmm. But really, it's maximizing the combo. The damage. It's a little bit more towards the, the like that kill. It does. It definitely matters. Especially with that nerf. Stress. Stress, I'm not dodging you. Uh, I was building my computer.